here at Lincoln Technical Institute of Queens, New York. We have uh, National Dino Day here, and we have uh, one of the instructors, uh, Mr. Monroe, here to explain what a dino actually does. So why don't you talk to me, first of all, what does dino even stand for, and what does it uh, record, what does it track? Well, the dyno is a chassis dynamometer. It's a device that we can drive the entire vehicle onto, and it functions like a simulated road. So not only can we record horsepower and torque with it, but we also do a, a whole host of diagnostic uh, features in reference to drivability problems. So like if a customer says that they had a problem merging onto the highway, we can actually load the car on here and set it up so that they're merging onto the highway, like there's natural resistance from the road and the, and the wind resistance, versus going out there and potentially causing an accident or even worse yet, uh, hurting somebody. Right. So, absolutely, so that makes a lot of sense. So from a student perspective, rather than when the weather gets pretty bad in December here in November, absolutely. really inclement weather, you can actually do a road test, simulated road test right here. You can test diagnostic, uh, as well as drivability, yes. RPM, uh, and, power, and horsepower, your torque, yes. torque, right here. Yeah, we can, uh, we can load gears and find out if the gear ratio is correct from the transmissions, if there's transmission issues. And the most popular feature is the horsepower and torque, where we have our competitions like today, where the students get to race in the building, no one gets a ticket, no one gets hurt, no one gets points in their license, and we can find out clearly who the winner is. All right, um, my name is Nick. Um, at the program, it's because, you know, I want to, obviously, own my own shop one day. Um, I work for Audi right now. Um, my dream job right now, but I want to own my own shop. So right now, everything's going good. Um, I have a, by my ride, I have a 92 240SX, um, SR20, um, upgraded intercooler, fuel injection, fuel lines, fuel rail, fuel pump, oil pump. Um, I had a little problems, I upgraded the throttle body gasket. It's basically, that's it. Uh, 336 horsepower and uh, torque of 531 foot pounds. Really? What did you think it was going to be? I thought it was going to be around 3, 310, maybe 310 and about 400 some torque, but he definitely, definitely did good. This car, I don't know. This car we ran before, so he did okay on it. Uh, I don't know really what he has under the hood. He's kind of, he don't want, he, the last time he ran it, he didn't even want to put his numbers up. Really? So yeah, and the last guy who said that to me at least put out about 700 horsepower. So, but he likes his ride, so. Just a 2012 all stock Camaro. Only thing I did change was the air intake. That's the only, uh, only problem thing I changed on the car itself. So, other than that, I never ran it on a dyno. I want to see what it, it's all fine. So, first time on the dyno. So, how do you think the air intake that you, you switched out the air intake? I switched out the air intake. So, how do you think that's going to impact your horsepower here, my friend? It's a small bit, not, not too much, yeah. All right, so what are we thinking? What are we thinking in terms of overall horse? What are we thinking in terms of uh, when we do a zero to 60 run? I think you can be able to beat that, you know, that, that uh, Nicholas, that last student, that was pretty uh, tough to beat, man. Yeah, that is going to be tough to beat, you know. We'll see. We'll see on the dyno. We'll see. That's all. I'm all about to let the car talk, not me. So this is what we got, Christian. You got a heavier car here. So although your horsepower was 271 versus Nick's 265 and a half, you actually beat him on the horsepower. That's the good news. The bad news is you're at the 60 and 6.55. So we still got rain check. Nicholas Vasquez at 4.8. Nice. Woo! So we, I remember when you first, before you got on that dyno, you were looking at, you were projected, I think you predicted a six, six second run. You shaved a second and a half on that. It's pretty cool. Yeah, definitely. I think you're going to be like the talk, talk of the town here, Queens. You're now like the man. You realize that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs>
so Jonathan, I understand you got your car here on the dyno. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, your name, and uh, tell us a little bit about your ride here. Uh, my name is Jonathan Lozano. I go to Lincoln Tech at Whitestone. I have a 2011 Nissan Maxima SV. Uh, I'm hoping to get around maybe 290 at the crank and probably like 250 at the actual wheel. 290, 250. Okay, so is it stock? Do you have any customized work on this? Tell me what we got. I just have the K&N, the, the regular filter, not the cold air. Okay, filter. not the cold air. Okay. Yeah. And other than that, it's pretty much stock. We're trying to beat it at 4.8 in the quarter mile, and we're also looking for uh, to beat 270 horsepower from the leading champion to the current leader, I should say, Nicholas Vasquez, with his uh, Nissan. So let's see where we go with our uh, Nissan Maxima here, 2011 with Jonathan. We got two more runs to go. How are we feeling? Are we feeling confident? Hello. He's a man of many words, like many guys. One of the issues you were having with this vehicle is it has a new style transmission called a constant velocity transmission, CVT. The way the machine calculates horsepower and torque is based off of one gear's speed. This one has an infinite gear ratio, so it's messing up the calculation. You look a little worried about the, you're checking out your wheelbase, are you there? We'll find out. I mean, what can I do at this point? <laughs> Nothing. You signed a waiver. Exactly. <laughs> So what do we think in terms of horsepower? What do we think in terms of zero to sixty? I'm thinking I'm gonna do zero to sixty in four and a half. Four and a half. That's all right. Mr. Vasquez is shaking a little bit. How about horse? Um, hoping to put down three hundred pretty good. So how much? Three hundred. Three hundred on the horse. All right. You know, we'll strap you in and see what we got. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to announce the winner of today's Dino Day with a 0 to 60 time of 4.8 seconds, Mr. Nick Vasquez. Congratulations, Nick.